Hello YouTube, welcome back to another one of my videos. And as you can see here, I have a lot of historical items. And I got these from car boot sales. So the first one here we have a 1916 dated Austrian water bottle. Look at the rust on there. See, 1916. Very nice. It's got enamel paint on the inside. Bottom of it's rusted, so basically you can't really use this anymore. But it's a, it's a really good find. And there's the two strap holders. And that's that's original from World War One. Go for a side. So another thing, <coughs> for another, I think that's a Mark Three or Mark Four. Try to hold I've got the latest one over there, but this is my other one, and it has been badly damaged, I've seen here. But inside it, it's got remains of the liner, and also there's no there's no um, chin strap on it, but it does have the chin strap holsters. It's got the rim there, and the person using this probably used it a lot for the looks of how the rim has faded away. And all the paint is chipped off there. The next one is this. Found this at the car at it, and it's basically a person was selling it as a job lot of World War One and other artifacts. There's some old barbed wire, bullet clip at uh, the German. My research says that's a German bullet clip. I found, there's the other bullet here. I can't put it in there, sadly, because it's rusted a bit there. Then we've got this really cool bullet. I think if you lit that on fire, it would basically go bang. The thing is, though, this was never fired. It's that bit there, compared to that, there's a little dent there. Then we got another round, also never fired. We've got the top of a bullet, so that's actual projectile. So that's what would have went into you. We got this one, which was probably in a field, trampled over, also never fired. And then we've got this piece of a bullet it's basically just been like destroyed completely now. Never shot as well. Then we got all of these shrapnel rounds. Just look at them. Shrapnel rounds for days I've got. And I saw it. there's some really cool ones in there. Like this one. That one's been just come. I think that hit something really hard. Uh, when flat it got flattened. So it probably hit, say, like that and just flattened on the helmet. And then we've got this really nice looking shell piece. Basically, what would have happened was this would have been loaded up into one of these, an artillery shell. When it fired off, it hit and then exploded. And all these rounds would come out. I would say there's a good 20, maybe in 20, maybe 15 in there. That's my World War One showcasing and other job lots. And then the best piece I've got is this. Now, this was my exp most expensive uh, buy, but it's the one that I love the most. This is an original German World War Two mortar case. So onto the mortar casing. Now, as you can see here, if you look this way. So you can actually see. There, you can see some of the original lettering. You've got W36 on this side. On this side, I think you've got remains of the G, O, and R. Now, later on in this video, um, there's probably going to be a picture of the mortar casing with the mortar case, I should say, with the original lettering, the mortar that was actually, the mortar round that was inside of it, and the mortar it fired from. Now, the mortar actually fired from the kit actual shells was actually quite a small one so how to open this thing what you do you just say get this like that pull 
pull back. Uh, right, it's quite hard. It's there we go. You need quite a lot of. So this is the actual case that it would have looked like with the markings and stuff on. Then we've also then got the mortar, actual mortar piece it would be fired from. Then this is the actual mortar round that would go inside of the case. Pull back, mind your fingers, and then you basically open that like. There's the inside of this amazing piece of kit. Now, two sides normally have one, two, three, four, five, five mortars here, five mortars around there, so ten in total. On these sides here, you'd have the mortar fins on either side here. Here's where the actual fuses would be, along along there. And on here, so all the actual main bits have been rusted away, except to say the actual wooden bits there. And also the remains of where it would have gone all the way down. And then to close this one, you basically do this, do that, I don't know. yeah, and then you basically... I hope you enjoyed this uh, video of mine, and I hope you actually go to this car boot sale, because there's so many ways and stuff like this you can find, like say this, this Wardle 1 lot of bullets, rounds, and all that stuff. This World War One Austrian uh, ward bottle, a turtle helmet, metal, and this amazing German mortar case. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.